All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Chandra Tribal in Throne of Eldraine standard. So we like to play in this deck last format, especially in like the, the best of one standard 2020 format. And even in best of one right now, I, I like this deck quite a bit, but we're going to be trying it here in best of three. Um, see how it goes there. Um, the thing that I'm worried about with this deck for this new format is the the green creatures and just like the green decks in general um things like oko is going to be a like oko has so much loyalty it's going to be hard to deal with where it, it can uh, keep on making foods and then turning the foods into three three to pressure my planeswalkers one and then questing beast two you know like we're trying to like play a bunch of planeswalkers and, and keep the planeswalkers in play over multiple turns and if they have questing beast they get to pressure us attack us and um, have the damage take out our Planeswalkers as well. Um, we've seen more people play Rotting Regisaur also. Rotting Regisaur with 6 toughness is really difficult to deal with, to say the least. So that's that's another thing. Basically, like the, the 6 toughness stuff, like the really big creatures, are hard to deal with. Later on, though, uh, in the game, whenever we have like Regulator in play and get to activate our Planeswalkers multiple times you know, do two damage twice and then, you know, pair it up with removal spells kind of thing. D use this uh, this twice. It's easier to deal with the big creatures. Um, Ugin helps us out a little bit there as well. But early on, you know, when it's a turn three rot Rotting Regisaur, that kind of stuff can be pretty tough. Um, besides, so what our deck's about, of course, you know, we got our Planeswalkers. We got a whole bunch of removal. We're not playing any creatures in the main deck. We're trying to uh, blank all the removal removal spells that opponents are playing there in the main deck i'm probably going to be bringing in torbrand quite a bit as like they cut their removal spells i bring in torbrand and then all of my spells deal two extra damage so lava coil does six and exiles uh chandra makes two three ones that are attacking flame sweep does four damage to everything you know, like torbrand fits really really well in this deck but i i kind of want to play it just games two and three like after they cut removal spells instead of game one um but yeah besides that it's just a whole bunch of removal and planeswalkers so let's see how it goes i'm going with it being best of three i'm going back up to 26 lands instead of playing 25 um and so we're getting a couple interplanar beacons in here now we hadn't played the beacons before um we're gonna try those and see how it goes all right let's play some ranked Hopefully our deck does pretty well. I haven't played this deck yet in this format. Thanks, Coboid. Thank you so much. All right, nice looking hand. Hawkeye's here to, to help us out. We're going to play like four or maybe... Like, maybe five matches, maybe four. We'll see how the games go. How long they go and everything like that. Why not the Red Castle? Because I want mountains. Shonda's Regulator really cares about mountains. And I just, I just want mountains. But yeah, we're going 26 lands because we really need to hit land drops. Over and over. Um... See, this is tough. Like, are they going to just play... I want to play Chandra. This is the card I want to play. But they could just have Questing Beast next turn. And that would be pretty awful for me. We'll just go Chandra, add a loyalty counter. Stuff already. I don't... I mean, we could have, we of course, bolted the bird. But the bird's just a one-time... Use bird. Go get him, buddies.
Yeah, I'm just certainly hoping for no questing beast here. No questing beast. We could kill our opponent this next turn. If they don't have the beast. Oh, why do they have to have the questing beast? Why does that have to be just game one? They don't even know how to use their card anyway. Ugh. They were going to be dead, but they just played another creature. We, we had the combo, but like this, this combo, these two Chandras and the regulator can attack for 20. And so we're going to be able to kill their blocker attack for 20. Bleh. <laughs> Todd disgruntled. They don't even know how to use their card. <laughs> yeah, it must be nice just to be able to play Mythics. You don't even know how to use. It just doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. That's a really good draw. They have to block with both, so they have to trade. They have to chump block with both here. their creatures. Gonna be fun. That was a great draw. Don't worry. I don't worry. I brought company. Okay, I didn't. Didn't the deckless command's not working? All right, I'll give me just a minute. All right. Stop, okay. All right, should be working now. Hmm. Oh, uh, the first time you did the combo, you messed up the Chandra order. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. All right, I'm going to play two the two Torbrons. I'm going to cut this one of that that Chandra. Okay, we stop. Stop. Here, attack the pencil. Stop attacking me. Yeah, it's a racer. It's yucky. Rawr, 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 rawr. Rawr. Um, I don't really want the flame sweeps. Okay, that looks good. All right, good, good looking hand. Yeah, I'm excited about the the Tor Torbron. I bet Torbron's pretty awesome. I just didn't really want to play Torbron in the main. Like, I I value being able to have zero creatures in the main deck, so I'm probably going to be boarding them in just all the time.
definitely kind of annoying. Paradise Druid having Hexproof. Well, we're going to coil that. Shock this. The deck is not updated. I just updated the deck. What do you Where is the deck not updated? Wow. They just gave up. Just coil the beast. That's what you got to do. Got to coil the beast. But but no, Eddie. <laughs> okay, it is updated. Okay. All right, trying to get back up there. Number one, one, one now. Whoa, where'd the pencil go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where? There it is. Found it. Yeah, regulator. Yeah, regulator is definitely one, definitely a key card here, and then this this Chandra holds it all together. Also, like regulator and this Chandra, are the the two key cards of the deck. But yeah, regulator, especially like regulator lets me play twenty six lands also because I can I can ditch lands to regulator and I don't ha don't have to worry too much because we're probably gonna find other lands. It's exactly what I don't want to be playing against. A green stompy deck. Creatures are big. Exactly what I don't want to be playing against. Whenever we talked about what I would be worried about, here you, ha here you have it. Exactly what I'd be worried about. Yep. Yeah. I think Hawkeye wants some food too, but he gets to eat in an hour. We got an hour left in stream, Hawkeye. And then you get to eat. You eat the same time every day. I get done streaming at 10 o'clock every day, and then that's when I feed you. I don't feed you at 9. I'm still streaming at 9. I don't know why it took my opponent so long to, to do that. Control. Fire spreads fast with help. Sweet deck. This is what I this is exactly what I was worried about about playing Chandra Tribal right now. These green creatures are so good. Ugh, this is not not a matchup I want to face. Can I play war bosses? Maybe war boss with Torbrand. I know, right? We immediately play Chandra Tribal, and that's all we get queued against is Questing Beast. What's the deal with that?
Yeah, I, no, I don't think I red cap to sack a land. No, I, I don't think that that's worth it. Even though it can give us an instant speed option for questing beast. Questing Beast is certainly one of those cards where I ask, how the hell did they print this? I ask more why. Like, why? Why? Wizard. Oh, here, have some of that magic stuff. Sit back and watch it burn. We can do this together. Please don't have Questing Beast. Just don't have that card. You just have a game where you don't have that card? Hey, just one game? Easy. I'm here, but trust that I haven't given up on you. One game where it's not on turn four. Alright, so uh, six mana Chandra next turn can minus three and and destroy their battlefield. Time to sleep for a week. <laughs> no, it will not destroy ours too. Torbrand does whenever it does damage to permanence opponents control, not my permanence. So it's just one way. It's just a one way card. Uh, that's how today has gone. Opponents have just had it all. It's gross. Anyway, Ray Day, thank you so much for the donation. I will definitely play your deck tomorrow. So yeah, thank you so much there. So yeah, we got two Sultai donation decks for tomorrow. Sensation. Now Sultai Sweetness. That does look pretty cool. It's a good Sultai deck there. Foreboding Fruits, huh? Mm, skeptical about that card. When you can play Risen Reef.
But yeah, cool. Yep. So I'll probably play yours like third or fourth. Do you have does does third or fourth tomorrow work for you? Either of those? And if so, do you have a preference between third or fourth slot? That was miserable. We're one and one, right? Did we... We won the first match, right? I don't have that record wrong, do I? <laughs> yeah, I know. Our opponent played so slow for just an easy win. Just attack players. Play your four mana 6-6 six, six, I can't deal with. Third is better? Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, we did. Okay, good. We did win the first one. All right, good. All right, please no questing beast. Three mana four fours. Four mana six six hex proofs. All right, I like seeing that land. All right, that's good. Still could be. Soul tie with questing beast. I hope not. Cool, doesn't look like it. I'll play against a blue black control deck with our Chandra Tribal. We'll play this matchup. <laughs> it's gotta be the first time I've heard somebody say, "All right, that's good." To a to a turn two thought erasure. It may be. Hmm. All right, land drop. But with a whole bunch of Planeswalkers, we're, we're usually pretty good here because they have a bunch of removal spells in their deck, you know, like Ritual of Soot. So they're going to have a, a lot of dead cards over there. I don't know what I'm doing here, but it's going to be fun. Way too much for me it's to perfectly handle. fine. So if I play the Awakened Inferno right now, I only get one emblem. Or maybe I wait until next turn. Maybe we have like seven lands next turn. I get to play it and then double it because of Regulator. Give him two emblems. That is true. They could just Thought Erasure it away, though. It's a... Very valid point there. Let's make this quick. I've got Am I supposed to kill Murderous Rider? Yeah, I probably should. I've got a burning desire to finish you. So that I can Discard this triumph easier. They don't get to enter the God Eternals. Hey, at least I Their tried. own murderous rider.
All right, well, not going uh, super well for us. Get an extra card. This is just gonna be bad for you. Ugh. Well, I guess I found the reason I should attach the beacon. Feel my pain. Two cards. Let's light it up. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Dun, dun, dun. Not to brag, but I'm hmm. totally the best pyromancy student. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. I think there's a pretty good chance that they don't kill either. Um, either Chandra next turn. And Let's light it up. I guess I'm not actually ultimating Chandra the next turn. But there we go. Yeah, maybe, yeah, don't have the Chandra avatar here. I I used the Chandra avatar for a long time. Last format. All right, bring in our anti-control stuff. Cut some removal spells. That looks good. I want to be able to kill Kefnet. So like those those seven cards can all kill Kefnet. Um, I don't I can't really kill Murderous Rider as easily, but I think that that's okay. Yeah, you know, I could keep like Dragonfire or Coil that can kill Murderous Rider easily, but the, easierly. But then I don't get to kill Kefnet as well. Maybe I should. We'll play two Dragonfire, one Fry. Dragonfire can still take out like Narset. After they mine us. Uh, yeah, we should be using the fancy Chandra sleeves as long as. Yeah, yeah, we got fancy Chandra sleeves. You know, like, why aren't we playing four interplanar beacons? Well, look at how playable this hand would be if we had mountains. But we don't have mountains. That being said, I think it's still better than going to five. All we gotta do is draw one mountain. We have 22 mountains in the deck, so you know we gotta draw one of those 22 cards and we're on the draw. There we go. Rude. Or 
Poor boss. Can't negate a war boss. <sighs> and now they don't have negate available anymore for the Acolyte of Flame. Chandra, you need more control. Go get him, I'm glad we didn't just play the three fries that we played one dragon fire in the fries, so if they cast this, I can dragon fire it. You mirror marched into Agent of Treachery and got six Agent of Treacheries today. That does sound pretty awesome. I think they have another negate. So I'm playing this instead of playing the Novice Pyromancer into the negate. I just played it a little bit ago. Remember this one? <laughs> My army will inflict what a good mindless minion. Hmm. I think I'm a decent enough pyromancer. I would beat a Liliana, just attack it. Ugh. I hope you washed your own finding. I have two Ugins in the deck. Also, two Gins. I also have the you know the the Chandras. Whatever they're called. Consider this bridge burned. Yuck. Elder spell makes my life harder. This looks like a fun new toy. It's gonna, that makes my life a lot more difficult. That made my life considerably more difficult. Back off. I, yeah, I think the Chandras have the best voice lines, too. I agree. Chandra's Triumph, that's the card that I was trying to think of. Wow, they had murder in their deck? So yes, I'm getting really greedy here. We need to hit a land. But we did. Do not ruin my brad for you. That was a very greedy play, admittedly. Because if we did not hit a land, we, we just died to Liliana ultimate. But it worked out. We hit the land. We got Chandra in play. Your boldness is so cute. Now we can take out this Liliana. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Well, 
Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Rise and shine. This was a waste of my time. Whatever. All right, so at least Figure Liliana's out of here. Death won't conquer me so easily. Keep gaining some life. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Kefnet is certainly a huge problem. I like our chances on the play for game three, though. Like where they don't get to counter my turn two regulator. You know, they had the negate on turn two for regulator, but they don't get to have that on the draw. I like my chances there. I have not played knights yet. No, I haven't played Knights yet. That's, you know, like, that was one of our original 13 decks to play. Just haven't been able to get to it yet. But, you know, we have the, have the list and everything to play. Yeah, put that token on top. Uh, yeah, the list, you can find it there in the, the Stream Decker page there. It's $20 for, for a $20 donation for me to play your deck through a league if you'd like a donation deck. Uh, tomorrow I have donation decks in the first, second, and third slot. Tomorrow, but besides that, because they have, they have Ether Gust, like available for like whatever I draw. But besides that, if you want the fourth slot tomorrow or any any slot one through four any other day, they're all open. Besides that. So I don't think I play Fry for if they play Liliana and play a bunch of... Or sorry, I don't think I play Flame Sweep. Sorry, I don't think I play Flame Sweep for if they play Liliana and then get a bunch of 2-2s. Two Doesn't seem worthwhile. So yeah, if you if you donate for a donation deck, it's twenty it's just a twenty dollar donation and just let me know what day and what time slot you want me to play it. Um, and then anything else about the deck I need to know if you if you'd like to. But just let me know. Just send a link to the deck. In the in the donation. So we got triplets here. Good hand against Thought Erasure. And against Counterspell and stuff. I'm I'm not too high on uh, Knight's Charge myself. All right, we got Regulator in play. Ugh, training is so hard. All right, hopefully we should be able to have like a land in the top two here. There we go. There's a land. Cool. it's you burning. That works. So now I can. I can pretty safely loot away this land because Chandra's going to be able to just hit more lands for me and everything.
Alright, Ugin fight. Oh, my next card was Acolyte of Flame. If I would have just ditched the Fry, I would have seen that we had Acolyte of Flame and then killed Ugin. Gross. Okay, well, glad we didn't to try. I guess, I guess because of my Ugin minus, I should have fried first instead of second. Secrets manifest before you. This attack does turn on Thought Erasure if they have that. It's uh, unfortunate. Hurts. Okay. But since we didn't minus Ugin before, now we get to minus Ugin here. Good help is easy to find in war. All right, not not blowing up regulator. deck. So if I minus Ugin to kill Kefnet, activate Mobilize District here, attack in, at Ugin. Or I just tick up Ugin, let Ugin die to Kefnet, but we get an extra card and an extra 2-2. Uh, doesn't sound great either. Oh, I didn't activate this first. I meant... Uh, I didn't activate that first. Darn it. Uh. 
Long day. Long day. Fabric of the multiverse obeys me. The five bonus levels ones do doesn't work anymore. That code doesn't work anymore. Oh, yeah, because I'm sure that was for the last mastery system one, not this mastery system. So, yeah, it yeah, probably expired there. Yeah, my deck really wants me to play these war bosses. They really want me to play war boss. Man, we're gonna lose this match. Really thought with like with this pairing we we're gonna win and you know one game one. Did not think we were gonna be losing this match at all, but looks like we are. Really frustrating. Like if I would have started with, if I would have started with Fry on Kefnet, I wonder if they would have countered the Fry, and then let me resolve the four mana Chandra that would have killed Ugin. Right, they can't counter Fry anyway. So yeah, no, they would not have countered Fry, right? Can't be countered. So no, they they probably would have just countered the four mana Ugin. Uh, but just this is pretty good though, you know, like just all negate duress, another counter spell. So four counter spells, planeswalker removal, and then duress, and then Ugin Kefnet. I had the wait I had the ability to kill the Ugin right after they played it. If I would have activated my regulator right away, we would have gotten Sh this Chandra for my top card, and then I would have been able to play that and then kill the Ugin, and then I think we win this. Like that was that was the the play that I could have done and we could have killed that Ugin and then I think this game's over. But I didn't do that play. And this game's over now instead. So I, I had a I had a line that I could have won that that match, but I I didn't take it. Like right after they played Ugin, I played Ugin. If I don't play Ugin, if I just activate the regulator first, I had seven mana. If I just activate the regulator first, I'd see that we have another three mana Chandra, and then I get to play that. I play that instead of Ugin and kill their Ugin. Would have been huge, but I didn't do it. What? Yeah. How do you how do you expect me to win that silver? Do you expect me to to draw a big Chandra? So I draw a big Chandra to kill their Ugin, but they still, at that time, they still had the Kefnet in play. They get to tick. Up Ugin again. They're setting up their draw steps with their thing that says Scry 2. I have no chance of winning that. That's not a premature concession. I, I'm not winning that at all. I'm sure they get the extra. If they ever hit a spell, they get extra spell with the Kefnet. I can't. Like, Kefnet is a card I can't, I can't deal with. You know, all I can do is put it back on top, like, in their library. There's not really a permutation of draws like we could sit there and play the game but there's not a permutation of draws that where i'm winning that like nothing realistic especially with them having like the the scry land to, to set things up and them having the ugin out to get another card No, 
I I don't think just Simic and Bant are gonna dominate the metagame. I I don't know it's gonna dominate the metagame. I don't nobody does right now. Like it's that's what we're that's that's what we're doing right now is we're playing decks and figuring that out. It's way too early to know what are going to be like the dominant decks. You know, like you know, this is the third day of the format. It took people a while to figure out Field of the Dead after that last set came out. You know, it took it was, you know, 3 weeks, 4 weeks before people were playing like Field of the Dead decks. Knowing what's going to dominate after three days is not really possible. Unless. Unless, uh. You don't mind just, like, making stuff up and telling people that you're right. Mono blue mill, that's a good good call. There you go. Mono blue mill. That's what's gonna dominate the metagame. Yeah, yep. Yeah, good call there, Prep Point. Yeah, it took like like the three to four weeks before like scape shift was like a thing kinda at all, but it took another good month of like tuning and everything there with those decks. I don't have artifact removal, do I? I don't think I do. It's something I could have in my sideboard. They haven't had good artifact removal in red here for a little bit. It still goes back to, yeah, if you lava coil a Kefnet, it still goes back to the library. They can put it, like, if it, even if it gets exiled, they can put it back in their library. Hey, yeah. Yeah, this is like the third or fourth time I've played against Adventures today. We are going to be playing Golgari Adventures tomorrow also. I had a donation deck for Golgari Adventures for tomorrow also. Witness the ties that bind us all. Hmm. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I need more of this more of these tour brands. More more tour brand.
Am I not supposed to play war boss? Our deck, you know, it seems kind of slow. Like maybe we can get ahead with war boss. Especially if we can curve war boss into Torbrand. What am I cutting for the other three cards here? Guess we can cut a fire artisan. Um. No, Regulator never leaves the deck. Like, Regulator would have been really nice to have that, that game. Like, Regulator is is the most important card in the deck, honestly. Like, letting us have double Chandra activations, uh, doing the rummaging so our, our hands don't look so bad. Um, regulator is very important. Looks better. Looks better. I don't know what the lowest percent you can have in Mythic rank is. I don't know. Yeah, Ugin, Ugin is really, really powerful when you get to cast it. I don't know if we want more six mana cards, though. But yeah, Ugin is really good. Trading that off, getting rid of their death touch creature. Be afraid, wizard. I call my fists Pyromaster and Firebrand. All right, we got a good start here. Put them down to three. <laughs> or now, even if they have like a planar cleansing and wipe everything from the board, the mobilized district is still lethal. And we have the mana to activate it. Uh, my favorite deck that I've played so far post rotation. Probably the the very first deck that we played, the Mono Black Value. That was my favorite. Just as far as like decks I like to play and everything. Liked that one quite a bit. Let's try it. We have a I'm gonna be playing Golgari Adventures tomorrow for a donation deck. I don't know what a Jund Adventures deck is there. Spoke. Um, you know, I do like getting, you know, as far as adventures go, I mean, the, I really like the, the red rare, the giant, 
Um, that's a sh that's a shock. I like that card. All right, here we go. <laughs> no, you cannot turn mythic wild cards into rare wild cards. I wish you could trade. I have ton, you know, I have like a few, dozens of rare wild cards and I don't have enough mythics. I I need more mythics. I have like no mythics and dozens of rares. So yeah, I wish we could trade. All right, we need to draw like you know two lands, but we're a twenty-six land deck, so it shouldn't be too difficult to draw two lands. But who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe we're just not going to draw lands. You know, drawing one land out of three draws, I thought that really wasn't too difficult when it's like close to fifty-fifty. You got to hit that one out of three. Just the perfect hand over there. Double rampant growth on turn three. It's their best possible. Land. It's been an incredibly frustrating day. Yeah, I would believe splashing. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd believe playing Bone Crusher Giant would be worth it. The card is really good. I don't know how I'm dealing with this 7-7 seven, seven next turn. All right, whatever. Wow, we're down to 99%. We're out of the top 1,200 now. Started today ranked like 15th. Now we're out of the top 1200 after going two and two and six. Um, so yeah, our deck, you know, as we, as we saw sometimes there struggle with questing beast, that was pretty rough. Um, just things just didn't go well, very well for us today. You know, had, just lots of problems with everything, you know, flood out, not have lands. Not good variants for us today, just in all of our games, not really just with Chandra Tribal, just a lot of our games. Our league that we did, we did really well with the team revention. We started 4-0 today, and then my computer crashed, and so I didn't even get that video for YouTube. I know, okay, that wasn't good. But... Oh, well, um, I still kind of like this deck more in best of one, to be honest, than in best of three. Like I was saying before, I think I do kind of feel like this is a better best of one deck, honestly. Um, I didn't get to play Torbrand at all, and so that was really disappointing. I feel like Torbrand would be really, really strong in this deck, but we never drew it. No, we did draw it the one time. Never mind. We drew it one one game, but our opponent had Questing Beast, and Torbrand doesn't block Questing Beast, and we had no red spells. And so we only had Torbrand against Questing Beast, and obviously we lost that. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, you could you could change the deck and, and have it have fires of invention. This deck could could have fires of invention. You need to. It would you would change it. You know, you'd you'd add a lot more to the top of the end of the curve. You know, like with fires of invention, you want a whole lot of expensive spells. You, you would change the deck up quite a bit, but you could turn this you could you could turn this into a fires of invention deck. Uh, no, I don't. No, the red ritual. No, you don't need that. Because that's that's all it does is it can cast the six mana walker on turn four. That's that's all it can do. That is strong, but any other time you like ever draw that red ritual, it's not worth it. The only time it's ever worth it is if you have it on turn four and you have a six mana planeswalker on turn four as well. Like we have the novice pyromancer that allows us to ramp into six mana planeswalkers. Also, like this this thing adding mana. That's that's gonna be good. Um, yeah, one of our two wins was against the number two ranked mythic player there. But yeah. Um, but there we go. So that's Chandra Tribal. Worried about it with this, uh, with after this Throne of Eldraine set of all these really big green creatures. I was worried about this deck, and those worries uh, showed up. Really disappointed we lost to the blue black deck. I think that we would usually beat the blue black deck most all the time, but um, you know, games two and three went went really well for my opponent. But I think that was a really favorable matchup that we lost. Um, but that's how magic goes. Anyway, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and please leave some comments as well. But thank you so much for watching some Chandra Tribal, and I'll see you for the next video.